Hello everyone, welcome to Apigee at 4 minute videos for developers. In this video, we're going to see how quota policy rolling window type works. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google on Apigee platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apigee Edge account. You can register at apigee.com slash edge. You need basic understanding of Apigee Edge quota policy. For that, you can refer earlier 4 minute video. Uh, till now we have seen various quota policy types where uh, you enforce the API quota using the quota policy within a set uh, time of interval say 3 per 2 hours and quota policy maintains a counter and uh, it enforces the quota for example 3 per 2 hours then it sends 3 requests at max to the back end and uh, if there are any more requests within the 2 hours window it will gracefully degrade in uh, AppGH platform. Uh, the rolling window uh, type is a little bit different than how uh, traditionally the quota policy works. In ro rolling window type, there is no counter uh, that Apigee Edge resets uh, after the interval you have given. Then how does it work? For example, if you take a timeline and if there is a request at 8.30 am, then Apigee Edge will look for last two hours how many calls has been made. For example, let's say if it is 8.30, then two hours back it is 6.30. Let's say if there are two API calls that are made in last two hours, then uh, Apigee Edge will allow the third request to the backend since we said three per two hours. What happens if there is a request at 8.32 and uh, Apigee Edge looks for how many requests has been made uh, past two hours, that is 6.32. Uh, since there are three requests and Apigee Edge will uh, gracefully decline that particular API and uh, raises the quota violation error. That's how Apigee Edge rolling window type works. Let's see it in action using hands-on approach. I'm logged into Apigee Edge as an org administrator. Uh, choose your particular arc uh, in the top uh, left side. Uh, let's create an API proxy to see rolling window in action. We're going to create a simple uh, mock uh, proxy uh, to Apigee Packet. Uh, so I'm going to select reverse proxy, click next and I'm going to say as a quota rolling uh, demo and I'm going to give the existing API as mock target dot click next, choose the default, choose the authorization as pass through, build and deploy. Let's add a quota policy of rolling uh, window type. So I'm going to add a quota policy to the preflow request of proxy endpoint. Uh, click on preflow, click on plus tab, click on quota, add the quota policy. Let's change the type to rolling window and uh, change the count to three per hour, uh, per two hours. So I'm going to change the interval to two and uh, uh, time it to hour. I'm going to remove start time. I'm going to say distributed to true and synchronous to true to make sure the message processor won't affect the count and uh, save the API proxy. Once you save the API proxy, uh, let's trace and let's see it in action. So Coda should uh, allow uh, three uh, per two hours and the rolling window will check for last two hours. Since we're just getting started and there are no calls, it should allow three requests right away and the fourth one should give 500. And uh, rolling window will reset after two, uh, uh, rolling window will again start after two hours. So uh, if you try it after two hours, then based on the past two hours, then Apache Edge will allow uh, the API call to reach the target server. So that's how the quota policy rolling window type works in Apache Edge. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in comment.apache.com. Subscribe to YouTube channel uh, to get notified whenever there's a new four minute video. Hope it's helpful. Thank you for watching this video.